what we've seen in the, the industry transformation, let me just kind of throw this up here. You know, back when Teledynamics started, it was in the analog wave. Everybody uh, was moving from rented PDXs to initially owning their own first systems. Um, all analog technology, basic, basic functions. Um, then into the 90s, we grew into the digital wave, so we had some of the digital PBXs, um, still in including a lot of the, the analog, so they were calling them at that time hybrids. Um, so you get more cost effective, you get larger centers out of that, a couple of different uh, applications to start building into that uh, digital product. Um, kind of way that we've, we've been riding on, we're in right now, is just common IP convergence wave. Uh, so you've got a lot of systems that are keeping digital, and including a lot of IP, and that's where some of your, your key systems, your proprietary systems have been in this area. But the way the way that we're on uh, right now that Teledynamics has jumped on is, is open standards wave. Um, you know, hosted solutions has been a big, big issue. I'm sure Bill is going to talk on that and how that how that works with uh, Zorcom. But with, with that, you know, Teledynamics said, you know, there's got to be endpoints. People are having to buy endpoints on that. So we, we've jumped into the, the open source, open SIP phones. And then most importantly with Zorcom, adding them as a PBX, as an open source PBX, allows for a lot more unified communications, a lot uh, quicker development on your products. Uh, and then we'll, we'll talk about that as far as the Zorcom product a little bit more today on how it's quicker for deployment, rapid deployment. Uh, some of the trends that we've seen, and, and these were back from 08, and we've actually seen them holding true, you know, IP phone sales have just gone up. Uh, and when, when you relate that to digital phone endpoints, uh, it, it's, it's, almost, it's almost a two to one now. Worldwide, TDM shipments, that you see on this right side, is going down. So 80% of telephony lines and exports in uh, 2008 was probably at an all-time low. And so now we've had, you know, the economy change, things slowed down a little bit, so people were uh, less reluctant to buy IP, but the, the trend still shows. And this last one, I, I love this one. Uh, you see some names up here you've seen, NEC, Avaya, Nortel, Cisco. And you see this one up here, 2.85 million units sold, open source. That's Asterisk. That's, that's what Zorcom is. That's what we're based off of here. And nobody really saw this coming. And then when 2008 hit and the economy hit, it was a perfect, a perfect entrance for the U.S. market for ashes to come in. A lot of cost savings, very future rich, uh, and it's been very stable too. So it's, uh, it's actually grown and it has a pretty large chunk of that pie. So what does all this mean we're talking about? We've got voice over IP growing as time grows on. Um, Mobile convergence, people are wanting to get their calls right into their cell phones and when they're off site, want to look like they're in the office. Um, video is becoming very, very popular now with IP as we're starting to get some of these codecs uh, hashed out, uh, IP television, things like that. So, really, we're having an incremental increase for voice over IP and video over IP. And basically, all that means is unified communications, bringing it all together. And that's what Zorcom does really well. Uh, and that's what Teledynamics is looking for as, a, as an in solution for our viewers. So the solution, what does that mean for, for you guys and for the, the end customers? We've got to meet the customer's current needs. So currently, we usually have uh, voice and data pretty switched. You know, on separate networks, Networks they've got old analog or digital PBXs with a couple of phones, some paging, a fax line, some telco lines, T1s, PRIs, something like that. And they've got their emails on their computers. It's, uh, until now, it's been uh, separate. So what we want to do is allow for growth into the advancing markets. We want to allow for uh, cell phone use to be tied into the system. We want to have remote users, whether that's on a soft phone or a phone. We'd like to be able to page remotely into IP uh, scenarios. So the only way to unify the communications is with that initial PPX where it ties the gap. Do you guys agree with that? Right? So now they have one system that connects to all these different endpoints and bridges them all together makes it one unified communication solution. So this is just a jumble page, but you know, as far as teledynamics, you know, we, we do a lot of different things. Today we're going to be talking primarily about Zorcom and how that is a, is a total solution for all that stuff we've just been talking about. Uh, as far as the routers, we stack a lot of different routers, switches, uh, Valcom does our paging. We have a bunch of different IP endpoints, and we'll, we'll kind of go over that as well. But just to give you an idea, we have a total solution for your IP needs in teledynamics. Just uh, giving yourself that we'll, we'll help you piece by piece the information and, and hardware that you need. So uh, that's a good, this good quote, I like this here. Sales are contingent upon the attitude of the salesperson, not of the prospect. Bill, you'd agree with that, wouldn't you? I would agree with that, yes. I thought you would. So let's see how that, how that works with us. 
some of the assumptions, you, might, you guys might take notes, maybe on these next two, three slides if you are taking notes. Um, assumptions that we need to, to think of when we're starting to quote a system, a phone system. What is the customer's need? You know, why do they need a phone system? What solution is there today? What do they already have in there? And we're going to be going over this uh, later, but it's funny because I already had this presentation put together before Bill and I even got together. So this is a, I guess, intuitive thinking. But uh, what kind of requirements? Do they need digital, IP? Do they need a higher low-level control? A lot of these uh, IP PBX guys, it's an IT manager now that we're talking to instead of uh, somebody else. So back in the earlier days in the analog digital phase, we weren't really ever talking to IT managers, but now that's one of the people that we're consulting with. So do they want to be able to control that system? Do they want you know a little bit of control with it? Um, redundancy, scalability, failover, are these, are these options that they're looking for? We'll, we'll talk about what these things mean as well. Um, so how does one decide what's the criteria? So these are some of the things that we talk about with you guys when you're on the phone with us, when you call and you talk to me. Uh, flexibility, control, what, what are some of the features they're looking for? Because there's going to be some systems that we sell that have the features they're looking for and some that won't. So some that you're normally used to selling might not have the feature you need. Uh, so deployment, digital and legacy, are we looking at VoIP, looking at a hybrid of the two? Ease of use, this is where we're talking with uh, the people using the system. What, what are they expecting out of it? Are they expecting it to just be pick up and dial the same way they've always been? Or are they going to be okay if it, if it functions a little bit differently? Uh, redundancy, resiliency, failover. Uh, as we start talking to IT managers, these are things that they've been known to look for when they're putting in servers and they're putting in uh, you know, everything on their IT network and the land is stuff that they've been considering for years and we're having to start thinking about that in the phone system business now. And then developer support, and this is where you guys come in. You know, is that something where you've, you've had um, contracts that you set up with them, so you're going to give them support, you're going to give them uh, that tech support of those, those ads drops, uh, and then the biggest thing is the manufacturer that we're working with. What kind of support do they give us to give you? And uh, these guys have been a really good, really good relationship. So as far as the products that we sell, you just have to throw that out there just so you guys can see what you're selling, what you're moving from us. Um, so low difficulty, real easy to use, and then uh, low control would be this bottom right corner. And as it gets more complex and, and more control needed, it kind of moves up to, to the uh, upper left quadrant. But you can see Zorcom over here at the top of the medium and high, uh, as far as difficulty, you can get it pretty difficult, pretty complex, you can have it uh, pretty average depending on how big you're growing, what, what you're needing. But what I want you to know, it's, a, it's got a lot of control built into it, high level control. So if, if the IT manager wants a lot of control, great. We've got a lot of control built into these guys. But if not, you can manage that for them. Because it's a high level control, you should be able to charge a contract for that, a, a, a yearly uh, renewable contract to manage that system for them. There's a lot of stuff that these systems do when we're going into that. Uh, so some of the open source phones that we have, Snow, Polycom, Daylink, Panasonic, and Siemens Gigasets. Um, we can go into, into that more detail, but I just want you guys to know that those are some of the products that we carry. Um, I'm going to take a little bit more time on, on Valcom. I think this is something new that not a lot of people know. Of. Valcom has traditionally done old analog paging, but in the past couple of years, about five years now, they've, they've had a pure IP paging system out there. So traditionally, um, paging across a speakerphone has kind of been the norm, but what we've found out is it's, it's not the best solution. And OSHA actually requires you to have overhead paging for uh, stair roof, uh, stairways, lunchrooms, things like that, where there's not a phone sitting there. So, so how do we get by that on, a, on an IP system, a, a full IP system? And one way that we look at, and Bill, I've actually put a, <laughs> a slide up here for you. Uh, Valcom's always had their little slide that tells you how many speakers you need, what size room it has. Uh, I know every every presentation I've ever done, Bill's like, hey, do you have your slide? I'm like, no, I don't. I left it. And here it is. <laughs> you put it in the slide so you wouldn't there. forget it. Yeah. So it tells you Has anybody ever used this, by the way? Yeah. Okay. Can I? Yeah. All right. It's, it's a slide rule that tells you, you know, the, the height of the ceiling, how many speakers we have. So you can see in here, I mean, there's three in that section, three in, or two in this section up here. So it kind of gives an idea of how many speakers you need to fully amplify that room. So knowing that, we'll kind of go through this real quick. If you already have an analog system in place for paging, Valcom has this unit here that allows you to tie it into your IP PBX and make that analog group of speakers an IP extension. Uh, then they have full IP speakers. They have their, their uh, lay-in speakers, so it looks like these tiles right in here. They've got the ceiling speakers. And they've got paging horns for warehouses, things like that. 
uh, flex horns, in wall horns. Uh, they've got their uh, hang on the wall IP horns. Again, these are all PoE IP speakers. Uh, door plates, so when you're running a, a door phone out at the front gate. And then lastly, I had to throw this slide in here. They have, they have clocks and IP clocks, so uh, you'll see all that. All of these things are uh, products that work well, well off the Zorcom, because Zorcom is giving all this information so Zorcom could, could run all the clocks on there as well. Uh, and then lastly, we have uh, the new line of, of IP headsets Plantronics just announced this year. Uh, it's been doing very, very well. This bottom line of four actually allows you to connect your mobile phone, your laptop, so if you're a soft phone user, and your desktop, your, your Yaling phone, your SIP phone, whatever you've got, like the Astro phones here on the table. So this, this one headset has been the workhorse now for Plantronics, tying all this stuff together as far as what we're using on our earpiece. Um, let's get through that one. I like these last final thoughts here though. As new entrants seek to penetrate the business communications marketplace, uh, they're combining solutions with mess messaging, telephone conferencing, collaboration capabilities. They're eventually going to need to carve a niche for themselves in uh, intellectually by leveraging their favorable positions in related markets, like messaging or uh, overhead paging, things like that. And the cost efficiency and convenience benefits of such an all-in-one solution. And that's that's really where, where Zorcom is a huge part of this. So as technologies and business models mature, become more price competitive, uh, the unified communications vendors, such as you guys, are going to find yourselves able to tap into that lower small medium business by having an all-in-one solution at a competitive cost. And that's, that's where Zorcom really blows everybody else out of the water. <laughs>